Okay, so welcome back. And uh, on this one, we are going to talk about how we can g grab the elements of a drone machine and take it to tracks. Something that it's, you know, should be easy or simple to do. And I just got to say, there's no magic button that we can click. Maybe there's no right click right here and just do, you know, export to single tracks. We don't have this. Uh, we should, well, maybe that would be a, a nice request because this is something I uh, do the whole time and it's just, just consumes time. So I got a, I got a clip right here and I'm going to go. The simplest, simplest, easiest clip right there. Okay. So I'm using a kick, a clap, a snare, a hat, and a tambourine. Pretty simple. So what I want to do, I want to break this into multiple tracks so I can work with it. So you have a couple of ways. So one way is to leave this as it is, and you can go to the mix one and notice that you have a button right here. And this one will expand the, uh, you know, the elements that you're using. And if I do some playing, notice that you get them. And I'm using a little bit of effects right here, because if not, it just sounds super dry. But you can go right here, control the volumes, then go right there and just, you know, add effects and do the mixing. So this is one way. Now, another way you can, you have, is to go right here. Notice that this one will take you to the mixing. So you can go and control it from there. Some people like this. Um, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I'm, I'm not saying it's bad. Some people really like to work with the drum machine and just leave all the mixing and all the you know everything, all the arranging, everything on the drum machine. I don't like to do this. Uh, and it's not you know there's no right or wrong right here. It's just the way uh, you like to work. You know, uh, it's just your workflow. If you like it, uh, you can keep it. Of course, you know. So, but then what if you don't like it? Uh, in my case, what I like to do, I like to go create a, a, a drum machine, just put some sounds and create a basic beat. And then when I want to move forward, I then convert everything to tracks. And again, there's no magic button right here. There's no, you know, right click convert to tracks. Uh, as far as I know, maybe there is an um, losing something. Um, you know, maybe you can tell me on the comments, but I just couldn't find it. So, okay, so how can we take this to track? So, uh, one thing that you can do is you can go to this one and you can maybe uh, go right here and just duplicate it. I'm just give you, giving you kind of a workaround. You just can duplicate this, go right here, delete all the things that you don't need and go right here and say that, okay, so now this one is going to be the kick. You can go and do something like this and you're going to get just a kick. Again, this is just one way of doing things. I don't really like it because I need to do a lot of editing and going and deleting and I just don't like it. So another way of doing this is by going right here, selecting this one and by using command or alt when you drag, right? You could just go press alt and command and drag it. This is going to duplicate the drum machine only with a kick. And on top of that, it will keep the, of course, the, uh, the, the clip, the uh, MIDI clip. So if I play, we get the kick, right? So that is way. Now, if you don't want to keep the drum machine, that's fine. You have the sampler, so you can move the sampler and then go and delete the drum machine, and it's just going to work with the sampler. This is an, uh, one way of doing things, All right? So what happens if I go and drag the sampler? Well, this is pretty much the same idea. I'm just going to Command or Alt. This is going to duplicate the kick just with the sampler. It's much easier. But maybe, just maybe, you don't see the problem. When you drag and drop like that, you're not going to get a duplicate of the MIDI. So you're still going to go and, you know, go right here, just duplicate it and go and go to the kick. And it is just kind of a not giving it th this for us. It's just not doing it. Just the way it is. So now we get the kick. So again, if you ask me how I do things right here, I like to go, drag and drop. I go with here, I move the sampler, kaboom drum machine. This one is going to be kick. So I'm going to say kick, and then I'm going to go to the snare and, or maybe the clap, and this one is going to be the clap. So I'm going to go, you still need, you know, again, you still need to do the work. There's no workaround right here. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no magic button. It's just a workaround. So this one, of course, and it's going to be the clap. And you know what? My keyboard is just failing on me. All right. So. The uh, good thing about this is that you keep the MIDI, all right? So this is, again, one way of doing things.
So another way of doing things is to keep, and I'm always trying to keep the original beat because maybe I like it and I want to keep it, you know, not modify it. And then I'm going to just disable so I maybe can reuse this clip later. That's always something that you, uh, you know, you need to bear in mind. So, okay. So another way of doing this is by creating an audio track. And this audio track can listen to something that is happening right here on this uh, on this beat. So I'm going to go to the audio, going to go here and say I'm going to be listening for that drum machine. And the drum machine has chains. And notice that we get the kick, which is the out of the sampler. Or you can record the pre, which is pre effects and pre everything. And they have the post. And the post, of course, will be with the volume included and the effects. So. Yeah, again, you just need to select your poison. So I'm going to go there and just select something. I'm going to go to the chains. I'm going to see that this one is the kick. And I'm going to go and do, I don't know, the pre, right? So I'm going to go and click on this button. So now this one, the, the incoming signal is going to be just the kick. So I can just go and record it. So I'm going to go and do play. And notice I'm going to get the kick, just the kick alone. But this is an audio clip. It's not a MIDI clip. There's a difference. All right. So of course now you need just to just to repeat the same process for all the different tracks. So this one is going to be the kick, and then you add another one. You know you're going to be listening for the snare and the hat and all the different elements that you want, and you just record them as an audio. This is one way of doing things, and if you like this, that's fine. So my in my case, what I like again is the previous one. Just go uh, duplicate this one and just remove the drum machine if you don't want it and just work with the MIDI and the sampler because, you know, maybe you want to change something about this one and you can go and change it from the MIDI, just much, uh, you know, much versatile way of uh, working whenever you make a track. But again, you know, there's no magic button. You just still need to do the work. You have several ways of uh, doing this. Now you know how to do it. Uh, of course, like the uh, video if you like this and you learn something new. Remember to subscribe, of course, and make sure you check Patreon. Everything that gets released right here gets released on Patreon weeks or days or months uh, be uh, earlier, okay? So make sure you check Patreon.